Xi Jinping fears this American the most right now, and it is not Donald Trump, it's Mike Pompeo. In the first half of 2020, if there is one country that has unequivocally invited the wrath of nearly the whole planet, it is none other than the People's Republic of China. The United States under President Trump is leading from the front, and of the many China hawks in the world, there is one that has particularly destroyed China's case, and that is Trump administration's Mike Pompeo. Realizing the threat, China has locked its target on Pompeo. From colluding with the WHO to hiding the severity of the virus to now locking horns with nearly every neighbor, China is treading on thin ice and is receiving one body blow after another by the US. There is one man that has been at the forefront of these proceedings, and that is Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Chinese bots routinely land in hordes and attack Pompeo on Twitter. The Chinese media has been so miffed that it has run out of adjectives to describe Pompeo, a cheerleader of hatred who has lost his mind and sprouts lies and fallacies is the language that is routinely used by Chinese media. The editor of Global Times, the same editor which had compared Australia to a chewing gum, has been routinely throwing a hissy fit at the American Secretary of State. Xi Jin recently said, Pompeo is lecturing and threatening Europe. Washington is excessively suppressing China and asking Europe to choose sides. It's only to maintain its hegemony, not for the common interests of the West. In fact, he is cutting and throwing away Europe's interests like apple peels. According to a report in Boston Globe, the Red Authoritarian Regime took its hatred for Pompeo to new levels this week when it singled out Pompeo in a remarkable extended segment during the state broadcaster's evening newscast. And this is where hundreds of millions of Chinese viewers were told, the world needs to be vigilant against the erosion to human peace caused by Pompeo, which is like that of a worm. Mike Pompeo, the Dragon Slayer, is a former United States Army officer and was the director of the Central Intelligence Agency too. Ever since he assumed the post of Secretary of State, two years ago, Pompeo has been running an overdrive to take on the CCP. He has lodged attacks against China on a variety of matters from Taiwan to Hong Kong and the atrocities on Uyghur Muslims. In the past few months of the pandemic, Pompeo has taken on the dragon for its cover-up of the coronavirus outbreak. What the CCP hates the most is anyone questioning or unmasking their authoritarian regime, and Pompeo has been doing exactly that. On Friday, Mike Pompeo had called China a rogue nation after it had attacked India at the borders. He said, the PLA has escalated border tensions with India, the world's most popular and populous democracy. It is militarizing the South China Sea and illegally claiming more territory there, threatening vital sea lanes. Pompeo also singled out Xi Jinping for China's appalling and inhuman treatment of the Uyghur Muslims that have been put in detention camps and subjected to unspeakable acts of torture in the Xinjiang province. Pompeo boldly puts it, Xi Jinping has greenlighted a brutal campaign of repression against Chinese Muslims, a human rights violation on a scale we haven't seen since World War II. Mike Pompeo in his visit to Vatican City last year had also said, when the state rules absolutely, God becomes an absolute threat to authority. That's why China has put more than 1 million Uyghur Muslims in internment camps and is why it throws Christian pastors in jail. Every day is a China bashing day for Mike Pompeo and for a good reason. On the 31st anniversary of the horrific Tiananmen Square massacre, the US Secretary of State met with the survivors of the incident, sending a clear message to the CCP. When Beijing suppressed the Tiananmen Square vigil in Hong Kong, he said, it starts so soon. For the first time in 30 years, Hong Kong authorities denied permission to hold the Tiananmen vigil. If there is any doubt about Beijing's intent, it is to deny Hong Kongers a voice and a choice, making them the same as mainlanders. So much for two systems. This is not it. Pompeo is also going after Chinese companies in the American stock exchange. The USA is not stopping from landing incessant sucker punches on the dragon. Mike Pompeo has warned American investors against fraudulent accounting practices of Chinese companies. 
Pompeo had also announced that countries around the world shall follow Nasdaq's recent decision to tighten listing rules for Chinese companies in the stock exchange. US and especially Pompeo have been routinely demanding China that if it does not honor the first phase of trade deal, then the repercussions could be severe. Mike Pompeo also announced in late May that the State Department no longer considered Hong Kong to have significant autonomy under Chinese rule after Beijing introduced the controversial National Security Bill, which is in violation of the Sino-Britain Joint Declaration of 1984. The US took away the privileges that Hong Kong enjoyed in trade and from which Chinese businesses benefited immensely. All in all, Mike Pompeo is pressing all of China's weak spots and he seems to be having fun while at it. Meanwhile, Xi Jinping can only use his state media to demonize Pompeo.